Hey everybody, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of pick up where I left off the last video. I was talking about Microsoft Security Essentials and um, I showed you how Microsoft Security Essentials cleaned off oh let's say 95 percent of the PC mainly just by installing it and um, doing an update but what was left over was a very nasty rootkit and I gotta tell you I was expecting it to be the uh, tappy.sys rootkit and I was using my typical tools like rootkit repeal combo fix gmer and catch me and none of them found this new rootkit so maybe this can help somebody out there maybe that I've stumbled on something new um, and I'll show you what I did use to get rid of the rootkit. So this is the PC after the rootkit's been removed. Um, it's been running for the past half hour and there's been no alerts from Microsoft Security Essentials. So I can tell that it's pretty much cured. So let's go back to a snapshot I took uh, about an hour ago. This is this says before rootkit cleaning. And I um, was using a bootable anti-malware disk that I always talk about constantly. And that would be um, the BART PE, or Ultimate Boot Disk for Win. You can pick this up at ultimatebootcdforwin.com. And I just took a snapshot right at the point of where it was found. I don't know if this is a new trend, but I'll be looking out for it because it was not, uh, it, nothing could catch it. Not in, not while I was, uh, not while I had regular Windows loaded. I had to get in a bootable environment. And basically, the only file that I found in the Windows directory that was infected was lsi underscore scuzzy.sys. That is a driver, and it was infected with backdoor.tdss.565. And I gotta give uh, credit to uh, Dr. Webb's Curit little free utility. I use this thing a lot more now um, for the simple fact that instead of deleting, it first tries to um, cure the file, and it does a hell of a job at curing it. I get a, c a couple of comments every day on my blog um, that basically say, "Hey, I followed your Virut disinfection utility or." instructions and they worked out great and I've cleaned off mm, I don't know probably two dozen virus infections with Dr. Webb and not a single client has called me back complaining that, that their computer is not working or something and uh, again right right now Dr. Webb has found this rootkit that nothing else um, could find I did run a scan with Avira Avira found the file that is spawned from this rootkit, but did not find the rootkit itself. Anyway, it says, do you want to cure it? I'll say yes. And I know for a fact that there are no more infected files because I've already been through this um, a few minutes ago. So, anyway, um, that is probably the fastest video I've ever done. So... I'm just going to see if I can come up with something else to make tonight while I have time. But um, that's the power of using an ultimate boot CD or you know a BART PE disk and um, using something like Dr. Web or, or you could use Malwarebytes, Super Anti Spyware. Um, but this seems to be working out real well for me. And by the way, um, so a couple of people asked me a long time ago, how do you get Dr. Web? on your um, on your bootable disk well when you're building your your BART PE disk or your ultimate boot CD for win you can specify an additional folder to add and all I do is I create a folder called uh, Dr. Web and I say I place the Dr. Web executable which when you download Dr. Web is a random string of text which is good because that kind of ensures that um, nothing's looking for drweb.exe or whatever. It's just a random executable um, 
So it's it, it's got a better chance of launching. That's what I'm trying to get at. Anyway, that's included in the root of this disk. And it's a 23 meg file. All I got to do is double click on it, uh, tell it what directories to scan, and uh, let it go. And it'll scan the whole PC if you want it to. I just know that I usually use Dr. Web just to scan the uh, just to scan the the Windows uh, directory. So anyway, that's it for this video. This is a real quick thing. Um, basically, the PC uh, is completely fine once that rootkit has been removed. So another last little tip of advice: if you want to avoid rootkits. Uh, tell your friends and your family and yourself to go out and buy a 64-bit PC with a 64-bit operating system. So anyway, I'm going to cut it off here, and um, I'll try to make something else tonight. See ya.